What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, all that good stuff. But today we've got a Patreon request. So huge thank you to my amazing patron, Jeremy. And Jeremy would like for me to take a look at a number from uh, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, which is like a musical TV show. There is another one. Who knew? Uh, not 100% sure what it's about, um, but I have heard really good things about it. Uh, and this is going to be Don't Stop Me Now. Uh, I'm not sure if this show, like Glee, uh, does covers or if they're more original songs. Because obviously when I think of this, I think of the Queen song, Don't Stop Me Now. Awesome song, great song. Just a really fun kind of, uh, like a real good driving song. Uh, which would be great, like I always love to see that. Queen covers though can be a little hit or miss, just because Freddie did have such a wonderful voice, like literally like a world-class generational type voice. Um, but it could just be an original song with the same name. Who knows? We are probably about to find out though. Uh, so thanks, Jeremy. I really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and get into it. Don't stop me now. It is Queen. Don't stop me because I'm having a good time. Oh my God, look at all the people in the background. Like a tiger defying the laws of gravity. I'm a racing car passing by like Lady Godiva. I'm gonna go, go, go. There's no stopping me. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light. I wanna make a supersonic man out of you. These costumes are pretty damn uh, creative. Awesome. That was really, really cool. That was very well done. I loved how it was like essentially like a flash mob or had like elements of that in it. How it was just everybody, you know, break, dancing all at once. Uh, I was kind of getting vibes of the end song from Greece as well. Uh, what the hell is that called? We Go Together, I think it is. The one with all the made up words when they're dancing at the carnival. Uh, this was This was so much fun. Unfortunately, it did kind of fall into what I was worried about. Like, I, I loved it when the entire crowd was singing. I thought that was awesome. I thought the main dude who was either dressed up as Austin Powers or Prince, I'm going to say Prince just because it was purple that he was wearing. I think Austin wore more blue. I could be wrong, though. Um, his voice, I mean, it was good, but when you're when you're covering Freddie Mercury, it didn't quite 100% do it for me. Uh, but the whole rest of this, though, like that energy and the choreo with like the 100 people in that tiny little area, even though it was mostly arm choreography, like that just looks so fucking cool, man. I loved this. All right, so I'm going to assume that this show is probably all covers, uh, probably like an all or nothing type thing where either it's going to be all originals or all covers of already famous songs. Uh, I could be wrong. That's just kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this. Uh, but this does seem like a really, really fun show. Either that or Jeremy just knows the way to get me excited about a show or a musical, and that is to introduce me to the big number right away. Like, that is the quickest way to my heart, is show me a bunch of people dancing, and I will need to see that show. So I have to ask, are there a lot of big numbers like this, or is it kind of few and far between? Because, yeah, I mean, I don't even know if I really caught whether or not this is like a comedy or tragedy type show. Like, it could go either way. Granted, this was a pretty short number, but 
Yeah, I got a lot of questions about this. Like the laundry girl. Uh, I don't know her name. I'm just going to say that because she had laundry all over her. Uh, does she exist like outside of the musical numbers? Because she, she kind of seemed like like the, the, the straight man, you know, where everybody is dancing and she's just kind of like, what's going on? Like her and the dude with the fake tattoo sleeves, it kind of seemed like the two of them existed outside of the musical number, uh, which is always, you know, a fun dynamic in musicals, whether they be on stage, movies, TV, you know, it doesn't matter. It's like a, what the hell is going on? Kind of a, kind of a character. Um, but yeah, I, I really did. I really did like this. This might have to be my next TV show musical reaction. Uh, I know that I'm just getting in a swing of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, but I hear that this is only like two seasons, I think. Um, so there's probably not that many episodes, so I might be able to sneak that in. But yeah, this, this was a lot of fun. Jeremy, thank you so much for the request. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any other really big, preferably not plot heavy, uh, numbers from this show that you want me to take a look at, maybe before I react to all of it, please pop those down in the comments. Otherwise, you all have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in a reaction very soon.